How to get rid of caterpillars. Caterpillars are the larval form of butterflies and moths and are easily identified by their worm-like, soft bodies. They can come in many sizes and colors, but all of them can be very destructive to plants and trees. Knowing what you are dealing with can make getting rid of them easier. They typically appear most heavily in the fall, but they can be found at other times of the year when the weather is warm. If you are struggling to get rid of caterpillars, try out a few natural remedies. If that doesn't work, you can try some soap insecticides or other remedies for getting rid of caterpillars. Welcome to, The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you, how to using natural remedies, using soap, pesticides, and other remedies, and controlling caterpillars in your garden. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy. Method 1. Using natural remedies. Number 1. Try using Bacillus thuringiensis varcastarchi, BTK. BTK is a bacteria that naturally occurs on dead or decaying material in the soil. This bacteria is good for controlling caterpillars because it interacts badly with the digestive system of caterpillars. Furthermore, it is considered to be safe because it doesn't harm pets or people, and the dead caterpillars will not harm other animals, such as birds that might eat the caterpillar. It is important that you apply BTK to leaves of affected plants or trees at the right time because it must be eaten by the caterpillar. You should follow the instructions that come with the BTK, but generally, it should be applied twice. The first time will be about 10 days after caterpillar eggs have hatched, and the second time about two weeks later, while the caterpillars are still small. BTK is available commercially, so you can probably get it at your local home improvement or gardening store. It is usually sold in powder form, which is then mixed with water and sprayed onto infested plants. Number 2. Make the area attractive to birds. Birds are perhaps the best at controlling caterpillars naturally. Thus, it is a good idea to make your garden appealing to them. Try placing a bird bath, some bird feeders, and even a bird house or two into the garden to elicit interest. If you have cats that go into the yard, make sure that they wear a collar with a bell on it. This alerts birds when a cat is in the area. If you have space, chickens also offer a great way to get rid of caterpillars. Chickens will eat the caterpillars, so you won't have to worry about dealing with them yourself. However, you will need to prepare your yard properly to keep chickens healthy and safe, so this shouldn't be seen as a quick and easy fix. Number 3. Use burlap to catch caterpillars living in a tree. If you are having a problem with caterpillars in a tree, you can wrap the trunk with burlap. Caterpillars like to hide during the heat of the day, and the burlap offers an ideal place to get out of the sun. Once they've crawled in, you can smash many caterpillars quickly. This may work especially well for spongy moth caterpillars, which tend to live in trees. Number 4. Drown the caterpillars. If you aren't afraid of touching the caterpillars, then this is one way to get rid of caterpillars without spraying chemicals or other substances on your leaves. Fill a bucket about halfway with water. The size of the bucket depends on how many caterpillars you are dealing with. If it is just a few, a coffee can might do. If you have a lot of caterpillars, you might need a 5-gallon pail. Add dish soap. If you are using a relatively small-sized bucket, a quarter of a cup should do. Add more if you are using a large bucket. This is not an exact science, so don't worry about getting the measurements exactly right. Pick the caterpillars up and throw them in the water, where they will die. Wear gloves if you want to. Number 5. Collect the caterpillars and move them elsewhere. Caterpillars eventually turn into moths and butterflies, which play an important role in pollination. Thus, you might want to consider moving the caterpillars elsewhere, e.g. a nearby wooded area where they can live without harming your plants. You can do this by collecting the caterpillars in a bucket or a jar. 
take them to the area you want them, and then gently dump them onto a leaf or tree branch. Number 6. Spray Neem Oil. Neem oil sprays kill small insect pests, like caterpillars and mites, by suffocation. It is a botanical extract made from the oil of neem tree seeds. Neem oil is safe and will not harm humans or pets. It mainly affects caterpillars by stunting the insect's ability to mature. These sprays are sold commercially, follow the instructions marked on the packaging. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Using soap, pesticides, and other remedies. Number 1. Try pyrethrins. Pyrethrins are a natural pesticide that is made from plants, specifically chrysanthemums. They are toxic to many pests, including caterpillars. Generally, it is safe for humans and pets, but it could be toxic if ingested in huge amounts. These are typically sold in garden and home improvement stores. The product is typically sprayed directly on infested plants, and is degraded within a few days by sunlight. If you go shopping for pyrethrin pesticides, you will likely come across products that contain pyrethroids. These are simply synthetically produced versions of pyrethrum. You can protect beneficial insects from being harmed by this product by applying it to the affected plants early in the morning, and then cover the plant with an old sheet for 24 hours. Number 2. Make an insecticidal soap spray. This type of spray should be applied directly to the caterpillars. It works because the soap destroys the skin of the caterpillar. In order to make this spray, simply mix two tablespoons of soap into one quart of water into a spray bottle. Shake the mixture well, and then spray it directly on any caterpillars you find. Make sure the soap is biodegradable and plant-based in order to avoid harming plants, animals, and bugs that don't harm your plants. Number 3. Make a pepper and garlic mixture spray. This pepper and garlic mixture kills caterpillars as well as other plant-eating worms, aphids, and cabbage moths. Blend the following ingredients together and let the mixture sit for 24 hours. 1 tablespoon of dried red pepper flakes. 1 bulb of minced garlic. 1 teaspoon of mild dish soap. 1 gallon of water. Number 4. Use chili spray. This chili spray will deter caterpillars from munching, but should be applied to a small section of the plant first to ensure that there are no adverse effects. Stir the following ingredients together well and let sit and cool for a few hours. 7 tablespoons of ground chili pepper. 1 half gallon of boiling water. 1 half gallon of cold water. 2 to 3 drops of mild dish soap. Number 5. Purchase a commercial garden pesticide. This should be considered a last resort given the harmful effects pesticides can have on beneficial insects and the environment, but if you must use a pesticide, make sure that it is designed to work against caterpillars. You can find all of this information on the label. Remember that if you have pets or small children, using a pesticide may harm them if they come in contact with the pesticide. It is not a good idea to use pesticides in gardens where there are plants that will be eaten. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Controlling caterpillars in your garden. Number 1. Add some plants that attract beneficial insects to your garden. Planting flowers such as aster and yarrow, or cilantro, fennel, or dill may attract beneficial insects, insects that eat other insects, which eat caterpillars. Be sure to have these plants growing throughout the season to keep the beneficial insects coming. Planting these types of plants provides a source of alternative food for the beneficial insects, and will keep them coming back even after they've taken care of any caterpillars. Number 2. Use an insect barrier. An insect barrier is a type of fabric that you can use to cover your plants. 
This barrier will prevent moths and butterflies from laying eggs on your plants, which then hatch to become caterpillars. This may be ideal for plants that grow fall vegetables. In this case, pollination does not play a huge role so covering the plants will not reduce the amount of vegetables grown by the plant. Number 3. Identify caterpillars. Caterpillars come in many different shapes and sizes. Some are large, some are small, some are hairy, and some look like worms. If you haven't seen any caterpillars, but notice that the leaves of your plants are covered in holes, then you likely have caterpillars in your garden. Almost all caterpillars can be taken care of using one of the above-mentioned methods. However, tent caterpillars, which usually live in trees. These caterpillars usually live in webs. These types of caterpillars can be controlled in the same way, but you can also try to remove the branches of the tree where the nest is, and then burn the web nest. Although caterpillars are generally harmless to humans and cannot bite, there are several species of caterpillars that can give a painful sting. There are many different types of stinging caterpillars that all look very different, therefore, you should generally assume that if a caterpillar has a furry appearance or barbs that it will sting you if you touch it. The sting may not be fatal, but it will be very painful, so it's best to avoid touching a caterpillar if you aren't sure what kind it is. Tips 1. In early spring and summer, yellow jackets also use caterpillars as a source of food for their young. 2. If your garden only has a few caterpillars, and they are not destroying your plants too badly, consider leaving them alone. 3. All caterpillars are particular to a specific plant or family of plants. Identifying the plant that is getting eaten can help identify what type of caterpillar you're dealing with. Warnings Don't touch a caterpillar that is furry or spiny looking, as these may sting you. What will repel caterpillars? A soapy water mixture can make a slippery site, or a garlic solution can help deter pests. Additionally, natural predators like parasitic insects, birds, and spiders, as well as certain plants like peppermint, lavender, mugwort, and sage can naturally repel caterpillars. What pesticide kills caterpillars? Bacillus thuringiensis is a natural pesticide that will kill caterpillars without harming any beneficial insects. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.